Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Start you off with a time lapse of the day here in Monterey. You'll notice a lot of clouds for the bulk of the day. You're going to also notice uh, the commercial boats coming in from the first day of uh, salmon season. You'll see they start to line up out here. Of course, they don't have spots in the harbor, but they line up on the outside. And we ended up with a few peaks late in the afternoon of sun, but that was about it in parts of the coast. Temperatures today, upper 50s, Monterey, upper 60s, Santa Cruz. So it depended on how much sunshine you had. That makes a big difference this time of year. We did get some 70s in the Salinas and Santa Clara Valleys, but there were plenty of clouds around and even 0.01 down in King City on precip. That was a live look there real quick. Tickle pink in still clouds out there in Carmel Highlands. You can see the low clouds kind of hugging the entire Big Sur coastline right now. We also have all the cumulus clouds coming over the hill, so it's kind of a tale of two different patterns. One kind of like a summer pattern over the coast with low clouds and then a lot of mid and high level cumulus clouds building up with all the cold air that was around at upper levels of the atmosphere. Cold enough you can see for some snow over the Sierra, anywhere from about two to almost eight inches in spots south of Mammoth. And you can see this swirl. You kind of see that counterclockwise rotation now pushing into Vegas. The high desert outside of Vegas looking at four to eight inches of snow. So it's a it's a chilly, chilly system that has dropped down the spine of the Sierra and is now headed out of our area and quieting down. You can see the clearing developing behind all of this. Again, everything rotating around that area of low pressure coming down like that, and that's why Southern California got a little more out of that in terms of the rain than we did. A warming atmosphere for all as we go through not only tomorrow, but Thursday and Friday. And that's really when it kicks in, too. I think that's when we're really going to feel and notice the changes. By Thursday afternoon into Friday afternoon, we are knocking out all of the chilly numbers, and we're going to see widespread 70s and 80s, still mostly 60s at the coast, but that's more due to the marine influence than anything else. Future cast showing the clouds will come and go through the night. We'll go with partly to mostly cloudy for your morning. You can see the low clouds kind of setting up there between Salinas and Big Sur. Of course, that includes the peninsula. We may have patchy low clouds around Santa Cruz in the morning, and then most of us should see mostly sunny skies for the afternoon. So a pretty nice day on the way for tonight, though, still chilly. And again, the clouds around. Uh, 41 to 49 overnight, so we're definitely going to get down there once again into the 40s, upper 40s coast, middle 40s, even some low 40s possible for some of the valley locations. So again, the early morning will be chilly. Morning overcast by the bay. Coast in Salinas goes back to partly cloudy, 61 to 70 with an ocean breeze tomorrow afternoon. And we'll see mild sunshine for the valleys and hills, starting off with partly cloudy, and then 67 to 74. So again, continued warming, but slow and steady. 64 San Francisco, 70 Fremont, middle 70s in your warmer spots in the south and East Bay, about 70 in Santa Cruz, low 70s up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, 66 in Aptos tomorrow. So we'll do a mix of middle 60s, Moss Landing, Watsonville uh, into Prunedale, and then 70s take over Morgan Hill, Gilroy and Hollister, Salinas Valley starting to pick up more 70s as well from Gonzales southward, 70 to 74. 67 though here in Salinas and low 60s should do it. Hoping for a little more sun on the peninsula tomorrow. I think we'll get that. So it turns out to be a pretty nice day. Your KSBW 8 day forecast of the range, middle 60s to middle 70s. We got low clouds for you in the morning. We finish it up with sunshine at the coast. That's our general plan for most of the next few months with uh, some days that won't clear and others that will clear a little earlier. Your normal highs around the coast are upper 60s. So we're kind of in that range certainly. For the hills and the valleys, we got a warming trend, and it should be pretty good for the valley locations to make 70s and 80s out of that, low 70s to middle 80s. Going through your weekend, and we kind of hold with that early next week. There look like there might be some changes, but a little hard to tell exactly what they'll be seven, eight days out. We'll stick mostly with 70s, which is pretty seasonable. Our average high temperature, about 72 for your inland locations at this point.